Hello and welcome to another Ephemeral Guy. So as a follow-up for the night vision one that was posted two nights ago, we're going to try and spray paint some of that eye reflectivity out. Stick around. Alright, now as I was saying before I cut to that little splash screen, um, I am going to use Rust-Oleum camouflage paint. It's flat spray paint. I got a tan, I got a sage color. I still have brown and green and black and everything else. But what I was interested in was the pouches and that looped thermal. So I'm sure people remember the the looped thermal um, 3D mesh experiment that I did that was actually really effective. Um, except for when we put it on IR. When we were looking at it through the night vision, it was pretty shiny and I didn't like that. I want something that would work for both thermal as well as night vision. So we're going to try and change that reflectivity. Let's see. That really blunted the effect. You can see where it's not hit by the spray paint. There's still some reflectivity. Like up here. But look at how much it dragged it down. Brought it down almost equal to that burlap. I'm going to call that a success. Alright, so here we are. We've come inside. Here's the post spray paint. So, that's the pouches. That is the spray paint. That's the normal color. So you can see it's not that different. There's the 3D mesh on the thermal ghillie that's unspray painted see how shiny it is that's spray painted see how flat it is so that's what it looks like post spray paint now, obviously you saw it on night vision as it was being spray painted and immediately afterward um, that was a heck of a job it took that IR reflectivity right out of it made it dull and flat just like the burlap now, if you remember from the previous video, the burlap looked great. Well, in this, if you notice, the comparison side-by-side -side, 3D mesh and the burlap and the pouch next to the burlap, they look the same. And that was with the IR illuminator engaged. So, it actually did a really good job of blunting that IR reflectivity. I think this is the answer forward, at least for this. Thanks for watching.